So one final example for us to do together. Actually, I'm going to let you do this one. The first thing you need to do is find the endpoints and graph each of the pieces. All right, I hope this is what your pieces look like. Let's talk about the first one. You found the f of negative 2 using the negative 2 in the restriction. That gave you the ordered pair, negative 2, negative 5, with a closed circle. Now, how do you know where to go from there? Well, remember, we want x is less than negative 2. So you could have substituted in a value, say, x equals negative 4. Remember, you're going less than negative 2. If you find the f of negative 4, you have 1 half times negative 4 minus 4. So you end up at negative 6. That would be this point here that I have. In the next one, you have two end pieces. You found the f of negative 2, which was negative 3, an open circle there. You found the f of 2, which equaled 9. This is also a linear equation, so we know it's just a straight line connecting those two endpoints. And finally, in the third piece, you found the f of 2, this time with a closed circle. And I decided to let x equal 4. I found the x, uh, f of 4, which is 4 minus 4, or 0, this point here. Another linear equation. So I know it's going down. It's decreasing as x moves towards positive infinity. Let's put all of those pieces together. So your pieces should have come together looking like this. Now the domain. We could look at the equation. Let's do that. We see that x has to be less than or equal to negative 2. So that means it's heading to negative infinity all the way to greater than or equal to 2 heading to positive infinity. So if we look at our graph, we can see that it's heading in both directions. The domain is the set of all real numbers. Why don't you try to find the range? So we see, first of all, that we have a graph below negative 5, heading to negative infinity. And negative 5 has a closed circle, so we're going to use a closed bracket. But then there's no graph in here. So we're going to have a union. Oh, I'm lying. There is a graph in there because this piece keeps going. You see what I mean? It's a little bit tricky. So it doesn't stop at negative 5. Where does it stop? We have a graph here because this graph continues down. So there's graph everywhere. There's a graph. There's a graph. There's a graph all the way till 9. And 9 has an open circle. That was a bit of a tricky one for sure. Again, practice using the homework questions in Pearson. Practice using um, your questions in your e-text. What about the intercept? You can see that this graph has more than one intercept, more than two intercepts. We have a y-intercept here. We have an x-intercept here and an x-intercept here. I'm going to have to use two pieces of my equation. I'm going to use the second piece 
and I'm going to use the third piece. Why don't you find the intercepts? When we look at the equation from the second piece, we can see our two intercepts, x equals negative 1 and y equals 3. Let's find the last intercept using our third equation. I knew that my third intercept was an x-intercept, so we needed to let y equal 0, and we found that x was equal to 4. So use the graph figure out which equations you need to find your intercepts. Now, when we look at this graph, we see that there are two jumps. We have jumps here where x is negative 2, and we have a jump here where x is positive 2. So there is a jump where x is 2 and negative 2. This graph is discontinuous, This graph is discontinuous. You have to lift your pencil where x equals negative 2 and x equals positive 2. These were the first of the difficult graphing questions we're going to do in Math 103. Spend enough time reviewing these lessons and practicing before we get to the next set. Just a reminder that at the end of these notes, there are practice questions for your final exam review. The solutions for these can be found on your class Moodle page. So make sure you take the time to start working on them well before your final exam. For example, you could use them to prepare for your first test. I hope you have that date in your calendar and that you've started reviewing.